Hey guys, it's Joe, and today I wanted to do a what's in my bag video, and I just got back from work, so this really is what I took with me all day today, and yeah, that's all. So let's just jump right in. Um, first of all, my bag looks like this. It's bike gas. It's just a black kind of slouchy bag. And I had a nicer bag that I really loved that finally the strap just wore out. So I'm using this, which is totally a great bag, um, but I'm using this until I can find an, another option. I really like the inside. It has kind of an animal print, which I think is cute. First thing, makeup coupons. I always have makeup coupons with me just in case. This is a monologue. I'm an actor, so this is one of my monologues which last time I did did not go well. Oops, nails. Uh, this is an invitation to a bridal shower that I went to. And on the back is, is, oh, it's brainstorming for my channel. That's cute, this is how devoted I am. Uh, a package of something, just like a note to myself about something. This is my journal, which I really, really love. It's this really, um, soft leather and I think I got this at Anthropology, but it was on sale I think it was about $20 marked down from 40 so I was really excited I've been journaling actually since I was eight so I have probably upwards of 20 full journals and I just love it it's hardwired into how my brain works to write everything down. So, love my journal, always have it with me. Uh, I also have my planner, which, as you can see, is already very banged up. And this, my boss gets these for free, and he always gives them to me each year, which is really nice. And this year I created a collage on it, just from stuff that I cut out of magazines. So, I like it. And it just has, you know, a bunch of stuff in it. Whoa, totally falling apart. Oh, there's a Bruce Springsteen CD in there. <laughs> I use a CD player because I, I had an iPod Shuffle and it just disappeared. So I'm back using a Discman. Uh, my phone, which I had bedazzled myself. I always bedazzle my phone and it, it looks pretty bad, but I just like it. I just like how colorful it is. It is a totally unimpressive flip phone. I've always just had a phone like this. I've never had a smartphone or anything. It's just a bunch of pens. This is a necklace. It's actually really pretty. I'm gonna put that on. An emergency which I always like to have one of these. This is a little piece of a necklace that is obviously broken now, which is bad. This is a reason not to store jewelry in your purse. This is a key that sometimes, um, I had this on a chain, but I don't know where the chain went, but a lot of times I wear this around my neck on a chain. It's just really pretty. I found it at work. This is my Too Faced bronzer in Snow Bunny, which I know um, if you, watch a lot of YouTube stuff you probably know that there's a 10 pan challenge which is where people try to use up products before they can buy new products and I'm doing right now kind of a modified version of that where like for instance this I can't buy bronzer of any kind until I've used up this bronzer and same goes for the blush that I have in here this is my sugar bomb blush you can see this I hit pan in this and once again until I use this up I can't buy blush of any kind this or any other so I'm doing just kind of a modified 10 pan I like to keep my goals about my makeup spending still tied to makeup so it's easier for me to think I have to use up this bronzer that I really love before I can buy more bronzer than to just be like I can't buy makeup uh, I have a little makeup bag this is Mac and this is really cute, although oops, I 
think this was one of the one of their holiday specials one year. Probably came with brushes in it or something. I like this a lot. I just wish it was a little bigger because if I put something like a normal size compact in it, it just doesn't quite fit. But other than that, I do use it a lot. What I have in here today is I have Maybelline Mega Flush which is brand new and I'm going to review this and that's why I have it with me and I'm wearing it today. Uh, but I'm going to film a separate review on this really soon and post that. I have this uh, Tarte Lipstick and Revive with brush, MAC brush. Uh, this is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Oyster which I used on my waterline today. This is Oh, this is another product I'm trying to use up. This is um, this is a MAC palette, which is really pretty. This is just one of the limited edition ones from a couple years ago. But I am trying to use up this second color here, which is called Pattern Pink. As you, I have some of that on today, but the really bright pink that you're seeing is Junk Show by Urban Decay. I have my C eyeshadow brush. I always go like this. I don't know if I need to. This brush. There it is. I have a tiny eyeliner pencil in Rockstar. I obviously love this color. I started with wearing this today, but then I went over it with black because I really like the contrast of pink and black. And But Rockstar is just a really pretty eggplant purple color, and I love it. Uh, there's some bobby pins in here and a paper clip. And they're stuck together. Pen. Visine for contacts. I wear contact lenses. Tiny nail file. And some Dayquil, which I always like to have with me just in case. So that's everything that was in my makeup bag. My makeup bag from day to day changes just based on, you know, for instance, I'm trying to get rid of this eyeshadow, so I'm carrying it around. I just like to keep those things close at hand that I'm trying to get through. Uh, nasal spray, very glamorous. Uh, I have e.l.f. eyelid primer, which I used today and I'm really impressed. I, I really like this as kind of an everyday liner. I'm impressed. Not liner. Primer. Uh, I have my Studio Fix. This is also part of my 10 pan. I can't buy any kind of pressed powder until this is gone. Oh, <laughs> did you hear that? Oh, gross. Um, uh, this clip. I hate this clip. It's a terrible clip. Uh, it's in my bag because I don't even know why. It's, it's like this clip is not strong enough to hold my hair. I got it because it, it I was totally sucked in because it does this it kind of expands and I don't know something about that I found really appealing and exciting so I got it it doesn't work uh, the only time that you use this is like say at work like today it's really hot and sometimes as I'm working my hair will kind of get in my face so every once in a while and this is probably gonna look real weird but I'll just like throw this in the back Ow. I'll just leave my hair in this great style now and I just want to show you one other thing because I was also carrying something because it didn't fit in my bag and that is the book I'm reading which is IQ84 by Murakami. This book is amazing and it actually just came out in paperback in a three volume set. I've been lugging it around like a brick and as you can see it doesn't even won't even fit in my bag so I just I just carry it. If you're into sci-fi or just modern unique modern fiction, I would say, kind of crazy, warped reality books, then you would love this. I'm really, really loving it. And I just, I love the design of it too. I just think it looks cool. So read, I was reading that, and obviously I live in New York, so I'm, I always have a book for the train, or my disc man, or a crossword, so that I have something to do on the train. Okay, and finally my wallet. This is like a super colorful wallet from the sack that I got at Century 21, which if you don't know is a, is a huge discount department store 
uh, there's a couple locations in, in New York and maybe other parts of the country as well. I'm not totally sure. But anyway, this wallet I got there, I love it. It has a really shiny silver inside. And oh, this is me when I was in college. The cover of the year. <laughs> Little boy hair. Short, short, short red hair. All right, guys, so that is what's in my bag.